So jumping straight into it, we open up Unity Hub and we select a new project. But before doing that, we are just going to jump over to the Oculus development site. Just so we can look at which version of Unity we're going to go with. Uh, as of this video, 2020 has been out for a little while now. But in 2019 does have LTS now, which is long term support. So it is the more stable version of Unity at the this time. And there's nothing really in 2020 that's going to help us out any um, anyway. And even if you look at the documentation, and we will be referring to the Oculus uh, developers documentation quite a bit throughout this series, you can see that um, the, they do recommend 2018.4 or 2019.3. And obviously this hasn't been updated because there is LTS now for 2019.3. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, click that notification button down below to make sure you are notified whenever I post a new tutorial for you. So we go up to the new tab and select the latest version of 19.4. Uh, which at the moment is 15F1 and we'll name it VR Tutorial Series and then we're going to choose which of the rendering type lines we're going to go with. Now the three main options obviously that we've got is the Universal Render Pipeline, the High Definition Render Pipeline and of course just our standard render pipeline. Standard one will work with all the different Oculus the high definition render pipeline uh, as per Unity's own documentation is saying that at the moment it's really only for the Rift, Rift S and I do believe the Quest 2 if it is linked. So basically you need to have it linked to a PC to be able to process the extra calculations that you're of course going to get with a high definition render pipeline. The universal render pipeline will work on all uh, the different VR headsets. Uh, and especially for the Oculus, we've got the Quest and the Quest 2, the Universal Render Line will work with it. With the caveat that some of the post-processing effects aren't the most performance or won't work properly with some, so you've got to be very careful with them. So for the moment, just to make things easy, we're just going to go with the Universal Render Pipeline. And we click Create. Okay, so the first thing that we just need to do is we're going to create a new scene. And then we're going to clean up the folders in our project. With everything that's installed, the only thing you really need is the settings folder so you can get rid of everything else. And the settings folder just has all our rendering information so we can just keep that there for the moment. So the first thing we need to do to get everything up and running is that we need to jump into the asset store. So as it's still here, search for the Oculus integration package and we then import it. And as you can see, it is a bit of a hefty package to install. And once it's downloaded, we just click import. And for the moment, we're just going to bring in everything. There actually is quite a lot of stuff in here that we don't really need. But for the moment, we're just going to bring everything in because we're going to go through a few of it in uh, this video. Now, this is going to pop up as it has been updated. So we are going to click yes. And we'll upgrade this one as well. We will have to do a bit of a restart, so I'll be back with you in just a second. So if we look at our project, we'll see that a couple of new folders have appeared. Um, the resources folder, which we don't need to worry about for the moment, and the Oculus one, which has everything that we'll be using. And for the moment, the two main folders is the VR folder, and the other one is the sample framework folder, which is this one here. 
and the main one we want to look in here is the usage folder which has all these ones here which have a whole bunch of scenes with um, different ways to show you how to use the oculus and the uh, api integration and if we just jump over to the uh, oculus uh, documentation once more and if we come down to here if we go to the sample framework this is all the ones in that folder so we go back to here all these ones here custom hands debug ui distance grab that's all these ones here and they have an explanation of what they're doing and what parts they're trying to show you about the oculus api the ones that i found the most useful was uh, the custom hands which shows you just how the hands work. The distance grab, which shows you how to en enact the ability to grab things from a distance. Locomotion, which is the different types of movement that you can do in um, VR. And these, from my experience with a few games that we've I've played, um, are pretty much now standard practice in a lot of games. And there are a few different ways that you can do it. Uh, the OVR overlay which is the oculus standard UI interface and from my experience is not very good at all I've actually gone in and done my own UI interface because of that custom controllers is another useful one where you can show how to make up your own different controllers not just the hands um, but they're the most useful ones so if we jump back into unity Okay, so getting our initial player into the scene is really, really straightforward once you know what you're doing. Um, so the first thing we can do is give us something to work with. So just a plane and going with all this, I'm assuming that you have an understanding, at least a fundamental understanding of a unity. I'm not going to go through the basics of movements and all that sort of stuff. Um, so here we're going to resize it, just give us a bit of area. We're also going to add just a few objects in just to give us a little bit of perspective. Again, just moving around. So there we've got a bit of a playing field. So if we come down to our project, now everything with Oculus is um, starts with OVR, Oculus Virtual Reality. So here we want the uh, OVR player controller. And they're nice enough to already give us a prefab that does like 90% of the work for us. So let's just bring that up. Getting sort of a bit centered. Uh, the one thing that you do need to check for this is if we open up this prefab a little bit, if we look at the camera rig, just make sure it's got tracking that it's eye level. So if you've already set up with your Oculus, the floor space, um, your area and everything, this will automatically associate everything with that. And pretty much that is as easy it is to get going. So let's just give this a quick try. And just like that, we have a working scene already. Now, being able to walk around is awesome, but of course it's not gonna be much fun in VR without actually being able to interacting. So the first thing we need is a pair of hands. Now, when looking for hands, if we do OVR, custom hands you'll get these two prefabs here and if we open up the player controller go to our camera rig again and we've got our left hand and our right hand anchors now the OVR custom hands that come with our oculus these ones here have no functionality at all these are ones for you to build up in your own way uh, so if we drop these right in, they're going to be facing the wrong direction. They're not going to interact at all. Luckily, if we go to these core examples that we were talking about before in that first one, custom hands, they've actually got two prefabs in here already that have got everything done for us. So all you need to do is go custom hand left into our left hand anchor, 
custom hand right into our right hand anchor and that's it they're done So as simple as that, we have our player controller in, we have our hands ready to interact with the environment. Very simple, very easy to go. Again, refer to the documentation if you have any further questions on those parts. Uh, if you want to be able to do any of the other sort of movements, there are plenty of documentation for you to go through. But other than that, you are all ready to go. In the next one, we will go through how to actually interact with the environment, uh, grabbing and stuff and all that sort of things. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share to help grow our beautiful Unity community. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification button below to make sure you get to see our next video. See you shortly.